So, uh, yeah, I kind of mentioned it in my last video that uh, I was thinking about making a Tank Allen tank, like the gravel on the bottom of the tank, an American flag, and that's what we're going to do today. It's going to go right here. This is where the 10 gallon was originally. It leaked. I have it resealed now, and uh, yeah, it's ready to be set back up. Jonathan Riggs got the fish picture in the last video correct. I want to give him kind of a special shout out because he's won the uh, the fish picture shout out several times before, and he's making pretty good videos, so I want you guys to go check him out. Go subscribe to him. He's at around like 60 something subs right now. So let's get him to at least 70 subs. But this is the fish picture for this video. Be the first one to comment down below the correct name of that fish. If your comment is pinned, then you will get a shout out in the next video. I wanted to show you guys something really quickly. You see that? The shrimp actually molted last night. And there he is right there up under the rock. Clownfish right there. And the Royal Grama right down there. Now I have the gravel for it right here. Red, white, and blue. So uh, yeah, we got everything that we basically need for it. And here is the tank right here. Now it needs to be kind of cleaned out. Uh, it is resealed and all that. I did check for leaks and all that. Filled it up. Made sure it didn't leak and it did not. So yeah, I'm about to uh, clean this thing out. Alright, so uh, there's the tank now all cleaned out. I'm about to set this thing up now. And there we go. So I got all three of the bags of gravel right here, about to wash them out. I got three different buckets. Of course, I cannot mix them because, well, I've got to like put them in the tank separately. Alright, we got all three buckets of the gravel now cleaned out. So uh, let's start making this flag. peeps uh yeah so I couldn't really make the stars so I just kind of like put little specks of white gravel in certain places but it doesn't look half bad I mean it, it kind of does kind of doesn't but it looks all right to me I literally just did this in about 10 minutes so I wasn't really like taking my time with it the only thing I'm not really gonna be able to do with this is like do gravel vex with it because obviously it would like mess the flag up and that's why I'm only gonna have one fish in here one fish only and he's gonna be at the top and that one fish is an African butterfly fish. They're a really, really cool fish. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to put, like, nothing on the bottom. And I knew a great fish for that that didn't need nothing, you know, around the bottom would be an African butterfly fish. They don't really need a lot of space, especially since there aren't any other fish in the tank. And, uh, yeah, they're just a really cool fish. And I was just like, hey, why not get a butterfly fish for it? So that's what we're going to do. We're about to put some water in here. Now, I'm going to be very careful when I put the water in here, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to set this rock right down in there. And I'm just going to dump the water on that and it'll just, you know, flow very softly onto the gravel and that way it won't mess it up any. So there it is right there. You got the filter running and everything, got the hood on it. I'm going to probably let this cycle for about two weeks or so and then I'm probably going to get the butterfly fish for it. And it'll just kind of hang around at the surface up here. Yeah, pretty cool tank. Uh, I could have made it look a little bit better, I guess, if I would have taken my time with it. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to let that cycle for about two weeks, and then we'll get the African butterfly fish for it. But one thing I wanted to mention was this tank right here. Uh, this used to, of course, be like a baby turtle tank, and I uh, moved my turtles over to that tank right over there. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know what I should do with this 20-gallon tank right here. It's probably going to stay outside, probably going to stay in this spot, so make sure, you know, it's okay to be outside. But yeah, any ideas that you have for that, comment up down below. Look at him. Just staring me down. The turtle slash goldfish pond, I showed it to you guys in the last video. Uh, actually, one of the turtles just slipped right off of there because it's wet. But yeah, it's crystal clear now. Uh, I actually cleaned it out just yesterday. You guys saw that in the last video. There's one of the turtles right there actually looking at me. But yeah, all the goldfish in here are very fat because they're eating a lot of natural food that's in here. So yeah, that pond is looking good. The white cloud minnows that we got in the last video are doing great. You can see them right there all swimming around. The albino long fin cherry barbs. Here are the pair of convicts up here doing great. Look at them go. There's the female right there and the male, of course. They've been getting along a lot better. Oh, I say that and yep, there they go. Yep. Just how convicts are. But yeah, like I was saying, they have actually been getting along a lot better recently. They used to be very... Here they go again. Are you kidding me? 
But they used to be like very mean and aggressive towards each other, like constantly going at it. Like they, they would not swim side by side like that. But yeah, they are convicts, so they do kind of have that aggression in them. Here's the Jack Dempsey right here out and about, and there's the bitcher right down there looking for some food. Now this tank right here, this was another tank that actually leaked uh, about a month or two ago. I resold it, it's back set up now, so we're going to start getting more fish for this pretty soon. This is actually my largest tank inside my house, it's actually a 56 gallon tank. So yeah, pretty soon we'll get some fish for that tank. So I've got some cut up shrimp right here, about to go feed all the fish and turtles that will eat the shrimp. Now my Jack Dempsey is more than likely going to eat, oh look at him, he's more than likely going to eat one of these pieces of shrimp, but they're mainly for the bitcher to eat. Oh, look at the bitcher. He's looking for, oh, Jack Dempsey just got one of the pieces. There's still one or two more in here though for him. Look at him, he's searching for it. Oh, got it. Look at that guy. I'll give one piece of shrimp to the Marble car catfish. Watch him, here he comes. Got it. Look at that guy. I've actually been feeding him two pieces lately since he's been growing more. And I will of course give one to Chungus. He normally we actually two of them. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. Hang on, hang on. There it is. Got it. Look at that. That is one ferocious fish right there. Look at that guy. One more right on end for him. Look at him. Got it. Like it is nothing. Now we're here gonna feed all the turtles. Drop a few pieces in for these guys. Oh, that guy's actually up there right now. These guys I'm still trying to train to hand feed, so uh, I just normally would drop a few pieces in there for them. And these guys are pretty well trained to hand feed, actually, especially that guy, so we'll go ahead and hand feed him. Did he get it? Yep, he got it. Look at him, he'll chomp that right on down. There's the other one back in there, and there's a baby musk turtle. It normally hangs out here. Of course, they're nocturnal turtles, so they come out at night. So he normally is out here walking along the bottom at night. Oh, one of those guys is out eating. Look at him. They'll go and pick up all those pieces and can literally eat more. Give okay, this guy one more piece. And got it. Oh, this guy's coming out. Oh, he's going to hand feed. Yep, he got it. Oh, and would you look at that. There's the baby musk turtle right there, actually. Now here's that baby musk turtle I was talking about, and he's pretty mad right now. I actually think I just woke him up, so I'm going to put him right back into his tank. Now these turtles right here in this pond, I don't ever see them come out and eat. Uh, I just know they're eating the shrimp because when I come back around, it is all gone. There's actually one that likes to stay up under there. You can kind of see his shell. He's one of the smaller ones. He stays under there, and the other two stay back there. Drop a few more on in for them. And the rest of the shrimp goes to the turtles over here in the goldfish pond. These guys I'm still trying to train to hand feed out of the pond. Of course, they used to do it when they were over there in the cooler. But going from the cooler to the pond is obviously different. So uh, they're still trying to get used to me, like, coming up and eating out of my hand. I just usually drop a few pieces of shrimp in and they start going to town. You can see them right down there eating. The water is so crystal clear now after I cleaned it out. Oh, he's coming right up to me. Hey, buddy. This is actually the guy that used to be the most personable. And would always come up to me. Look at him. He's not even spooking. Hey, buddy. Well, those guys are all good to go now. Now, for those of you that do not know, I actually used to have a pond right here in this area right here. And, yeah, it, it kind of, like, got destroyed one day when it started raining. And the, like, water got really, really high without me, like, really noticing in time. The water, like, seeped up under. Okay, so basically what happened, one of the rocks actually slid off the edge. Then what happened, the water got so high, it went up underneath the liner because from that rock, you know, sliding into the water. Basically, water started going up underneath the liner, and I did not really even know that was happening until I started draining the pond and noticing that, like, the liner was, like, bulging out. So, basically, um, yeah, I had to tear the pond down. My plan was, like, to rebuild the pond bigger and better and everything, and then water just started to accumulate in this spot right here, and then I just decided... It's just not going to work right here. But as you can see now, uh, there's no water in there. I actually just stepped down in here to get something out. And, yeah, I can actually stand here now and um, it without me, like, sinking. So normally, even when there wasn't even water in here, I would just stand right here and I would start sinking. So that is good and all, but I still do not think I'm going to build it here just because when it rains next time, water obviously flows down from that hill right there and into the pond and obviously the same thing could happen again but that's the old liner right there i'm thinking about doing something with it 
That is the waterfall liner over there, which used to be a mini turtle pond. But here is the new liner, which is much bigger than that liner. And that liner, of course, this is a 20 by 13 liner. And yeah, this is gonna be the new pond liner. This is also a 330 gallon per hour pump right here, which is gonna be the new one of the new pumps in the pond when we do rebuild it, which I'm thinking either tomorrow starting to rebuild it or either like sometime in a few weeks. I just don't really know what I'm gonna do just yet. But I'm pretty well sure the pond is not gonna be right here, but it's gonna be over there in that sand pile. Which, by the way, this is the sand pile where it's gonna be built at. But that is pretty much it for now. We set up an American flag tank. We'll be getting the African butterfly fish for it in a few weeks from now. Be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. But anyways, you guys, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.